I love this one because everything happens in the one pan. I don't even have to cook my noodles separately. So good. But there is a little trick that I've got for getting some extra flavor into these noodles. So just wait and see on that one. Uh, now in the Philippines, these are called pancit bihon. If I've pronounced that incorrectly, someone will let me know, I'm sure. But the pancit bihon refers to the type of noodle. So that's the rice vermicelli noodles. That's these ones here. But let's do our pork and chicken first. So I've got some pork belly here. And the reason I'm using pork belly is that I want to get a lot of flavor and fat from this pork belly. But I do want to remove the skin. So you just want to make a little incision in the top here and then just hold your knife down and then wiggle the skin onto the knife. And that will make sure that we take off the skin without taking off too much of the fat. And then just slice that pork belly into little thin pieces. Now put your pork straight into a cold pan because I want that heat to slowly start to render the fat from the pork. So while waiting for that to happen, I'll just grab my chicken thigh. Using thighs means we're gonna get some extra fat and flavor here. And the chicken goes straight in as well. Just gonna add a little pinch of salt here. So now that I've got some sears sizzling going on, and I can see I'm starting to get some color on the bottom. So this is everything a quick stir fry. Now that I've got that beautiful burnished color, I'm going to remove the chicken and the pork, being sure to leave that fat behind in the pan. Okay, so now we're starting off with a base of flavor that we wouldn't have if we just used plain old oil. So to that, I'm gonna add some garlic and some onion. And now some vegetables. You can use a mix of whatever kind of vegetables you've got at home. Just got some carrot here and some snow peas and some Chinese cabbage as well. And when those vegetables are just barely softened, I'm going to add in my soy sauce and some dark soy sauce. This is going to give us a really rich, beautiful colour. Some oyster sauce, a little touch of sugar, which I do find is quite necessary here to kind of counteract all those really salty flavours. Just gives it a little bit more depth and then some chicken stock. And at this point, we add in our noodles. So these are gonna go straight into our sauce. Just let them soak, flip them every now and then, and just like magic, they will soak up all of that flavor and become really tender. So after only a couple of minutes here, you can see that sauce has all but been absorbed by those noodles and we're left with a beautifully flavor-packed noodle dish here. So now I'm gonna add back in my pork and my chicken. I'm gonna season that with a little bit of pepper. And some spring onions go in as well. And I just get those luscious noodles out onto a serving plate. And now to make the whole thing complete, just a little lime wedge here because that extra spritz of tang at the end is really delicious. So there you go guys, Filipino chicken and pork noodles and all in one pan. So good. Squeeze the lime. Wow. You will not believe the flavor that every single strand of noodle has in this dish. It's porky, it's chickeny, salty, crunchy, oh, all the things. This is one epic noodle dish, guys. I can't wait for you to try it. I love a dish where the ingredients are so simple, you've usually got them in your pantry. Ah, oh, so good. So our marinade is super simple. Uh, we just want a little bit of brown sugar. And what we're after here is we're making like a sweet, sour, tangy kind of marinade, which would then turn into a sauce as well. So that's the sweet. And then we've got our salty with the soy sauce. 
and then we're gonna get the tangy with our vinegar. So I'm using an apple cider vinegar. You could just use white vinegar, rice vinegar, any kind of vinegar you've got. And now we want our flavoring. So I've got some ginger, finely grated, and a good hit of black pepper. Really want some nice pepper notes in our finished sauce. And some garlic. So I'm just gonna use half of this garlic first because we're gonna use a little bit more of that garlic later on. So there's a whole bunch of meat options for Filipino adobo. I'm choosing chicken drumsticks today. I love drumsticks. They're cheap. Everyone in the house loves them. Crowd pleaser, all of those things. All right, now pour the marinade on top of those. Get everyone in there acquainted with that marinade. And now if you have the time and you're really organized, you could leave this to marinate overnight, but I often don't have the time because I'm not that organized. So 30 minutes will do. Now what we need to do is brown the chicken off first. So I just want a little bit of oil in my pan and just do this in batches. It's important when you're browning anything that you give it a lot of space so that your meat is browning and not stewing. We'll get to the stewing part later. So this is all about creating color and flavor. So all of that awesome brown, beautiful caramelization, that is pure flavor. Let's turn those pieces over. Just transfer those back out into another dish. Let's brown those other pieces. Okay, so now what we're left with is all this beautiful flavor in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna add in just a little bit more oil and then I wanna get my onions straight in there and just a little pinch of salt. I always love to season my onions as they're cooking. I do think it sort of helps to draw out the moisture from the onion and then make it a little sweeter. Now here's where you want to be patient guys. You really want to get that onion nice and soft and translucent because that's going to give you the best flavor in your finished dish. Now once they're nice and softened a little, I'm going to add in my garlic and some chili. Now I've got quite a bit of red chili here. You can use less or you can leave the chili out. Totally up to you. Okay, so now I want to pop my chicken pieces back in. And then now our marinade becomes our sauce. So I'll pour that all over and I just want some bay leaves in there as well. It's gonna give us a really beautiful flavor. Just make sure each of those pieces of chicken is nice and snug in that beautiful little sauce. And I just want a little bit of water as well, just to make sure we've got enough liquid to braise our chicken. Now I'm gonna turn that heat down a little and just pop a lid on there. And that just needs to simmer away for 30 minutes. Ah, oh, now look at that gorgeous chicken. Ah, oh, so good. And you need to be really gentle because it's almost literally falling off the bone. Ah, oh, so good. Now just take those bay leaves out. And now we're left with this beautiful braising liquid. So what we want to do is simmer that down about 10 or 15 minutes. Be patient guys, because what we're looking for is a beautiful, thick, sticky, glossy sauce. Now that, my friends, is what I call perfection. Look at that sauce. Okay, we're gonna put that over our chicken. And then just a final scattering of spring onion. All right guys, so I reckon the secret to a really good adobo is this marinating that happens at the very beginning. This is where we get all the flavor into the pork. So let's get started on that first of all. Um, I'm gonna start with some brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar. The vinegar part's really important here. I think it's the vinegar that really gives you that adobo kind of vibe. It's the, the tanginess that you want. So it doesn't have to be apple cider vinegar. It can just be a white vinegar um, or experiment with a few different ones. Uh, but I'm using apple cider and then I've also got some soy sauce. And I've got some garlic here quite a bit, but I only want to put half in here first and save the other half for later. Now I want some ginger here as well. A pinch of black pepper. Now you just want to give that a whisk. And now for the pork itself. So you want a pork belly here because you kind of get that like soft, sticky, you know, melt in your mouth, tender thing going on. 
So I've got the skin off on this one. It's definitely not a skin on kind of thing because the skin doesn't crisp up or anything um, and I want everything nice and soft and tender. Now keep your pieces fairly chunky here because as the pork simmers, it kind of shrinks a little um, as that fat renders out into the sauce. So start off a little bigger than you think. Now the pork goes into your marinade. Let's give that a really good mix. And you want to let that pork kind of luxuriate in there for at least 30 minutes because I want some of that flavor getting right in there. So in the meantime, let's prep the rest of our things. So we need some onion. And some chili as well. So it's not supposed to be a really spicy dish. So I'm just using like a mild red chili here, mainly for a little bit more like kind of color popping at the end. So once your pork has had its time, uh, now I wanna sear it off first before we get into the slow braising. So a little bit of oil is what you need. And when that's nice and hot, just kind of shake out your pork pieces and get those in there. So depending on how uh, large your pan is, you might need to do this in batches. The whole point is that what we want to do is get some really lovely deep dark colour on each little piece. Um, that colour is what's going to give us the beautiful flavour. I want quite a bit of that happening in the pan here. So if I turn this over, you can see we've got a really lovely, almost like kind of like a char on the edges there. That's just perfect. Okay, so while we're waiting for the pork, um, this is a good chance to ask all of my Filipino friends on here, on this channel, what would you like me to cook? Is there a cool dish that I, you know, maybe don't know about that you would love to see on my channel? I would love to hear about it. Ooh, if anyone has any recipes, even better. <laughs> I love it when I get, you know, actual recipes from people to try. It's always good fun. So make sure you keep that marinade once you've taken the pork out. We do need that later, don't throw that away. Okay, now see all this stuff going on in this pan? This is like flavor gold. We definitely wanna be using all of that. I'm gonna get my onions straight in there. So I've, I've got quite a bit of fat that's come out from the pork, um, plus that little bit of oil I put in earlier. So I'm not gonna add any more oil, but if you do think it's look, uh, looking a little dry, you could add like just a little bit more oil, but I think that's pretty good for me. I'm gonna throw my onions straight in. Now always when I'm cooking onions, I like to add a little bit of salt. Sort of helps to draw the moisture out and then everything kind of sweetens up a little quicker. So give those onions a few minutes in there. You can see that beautiful color that we're getting already, which is amazing. Just want them a little bit softer. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my chilies and the rest of that garlic. So when you can see your onions looking a little softer, a little more translucent than when you first started, now you can get the pork back in. And now that marinade. And you wanna add some bay leaves here as well. I think this is the other like real key to this dish is you get this really beautiful bay leaf kind of flavor coming through at the end. I think it's one of the essentials for me. And you also need a little bit of water here too. Just give that a good mix. All right, now that's all the hard work done pretty much. Uh, I just wanna wait for this to come up to a little simmer. Uh, then I'm gonna put the lid on and I want that to gently simmer. So turn the heat down to low and let that cook away for about 90 minutes. Okay, so while our pork is doing its thing, let's take care of that kind of like chari pineapple situation, which I don't think is very traditional, <laughs> but I think it really adds something extra. I like the extra flavor. You want a fresh pineapple here. Canned pineapple is not gonna get you that chari business. Once you've got most of that sort of outer skin off, then you just want to go in and just sort of cut those little um, eyes. Eyes? Are they called eyes? Are they eyes? Have we had this conversation before? <laughs> I think they're called
called eyes. Anyway, these little like these little round brown bits. You just want to get in there and cut them out. So now that we have our lovely prepared piece of pineapple here, you just want some sort of thick-ish slices. Now into a hot pan, I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil. Okay, so the idea here is that we want really lovely color on the edges of our pineapple here. Pineapple's such a happy fruit, don't you think? It's kind of like, you know, holidays, cocktails, sunshine. I think so anyway. <laughs> Alright, so this pineapple is currently starting to look like I want it to. If you just turn that piece over, ah yeah, see that really lovely kind of dark brown edge? That's exactly what I want. I really just love that flavour. It kind of gives the pineapple like so, many, so much more of a dimension of the flavour. Slightly bitter, you know, not as kind of like candy sweet. It's really, it's really cool. All right, let's come back and have a look at our pork. It is certainly smelling divine. All right, now everything in here is looking kind of glossy and really delish, but I want to reduce the sauce down a little bit more so we really get that like kind of sticky thing happening. So I'm gonna leave the lid off and I want that to simmer away for another 15 minutes. Okay, now let's come back and have a look in here because we're currently looking really luxe in here. What I do wanna do is, see there's like this just really thin layer of, of fat and oil just on the top. I mean, you know, that stuff's kind of good but you don't want too much of it. So I'm just gonna like scoop off just bits, just the bits that I can see around these edges here. Okay, now what I like to do here is just kind of lay things up a little bit. So I get a piece of my pineapple. And a little scoop of pork and just kind of layer everything up around the plate. Now make sure you get plenty of that like amazingly luxurious sauce all over the top. I mean that's just like heaven. Final little sprinkling of spring onion here and we are good to go my friends. Look at that, that is I guess not a traditional uh, adobo but I think this is going to be a bit of a winner. Let's get in here and have a look. I'm looking forward to this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is so delightful. I mean, the pork just literally melts. It's so good. And that sauce is tangy, sweet. And you've got that beautiful bay leaf flavor coming through, which is really cool. Mm. I love that. I love the pineapple too. Mm -hmm. It just gives you that really like uplifting kind of tanginess. Mm. Really good. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the like button and even better, I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video. Thanks guys.